So what did you mean by rule one, don't be wishy-washy? In academic writing, you're arguing something, a position, a comparison, always some claim you need to back up with evidence. You have to take a clear stand. Don't be wishy-washy and say stuff like, well, I agree and disagree. It is both true and false. Just pick a side and argue that position. How do I do that? First, introduce the problem or topic. My general rule is to pretend your audience is stupid, that they know nothing. So you have to define the problem for them. Okay. I do not mean to be negative. If you make the assumption your audience knows nothing, you will make sure to frame the problem. The key is to do this in a sentence or two. You have to remember the person reading the paper probably has to read 50 to 150 bad papers. Getting to the point saves them time. Saving your teacher's time improves your grade. Okay. Then summarize each side. Again, do this in one or two sentences. Try to mention a key author and the title of publication for each side. Many times your teachers are not even looking at your writing. They are using writing to assess your knowledge. Prove early that you did summer reading. Many times that is all it takes to do well on academic writing tasks. Really? It is true. We can use this to play the game. It is just one more pattern. After you have introduced the problem and summarize each side, you can then take a strong position. Remember, do not be wishy-washy. Take a position and stick to it. Then in a few sentences or a short paragraph, explain to the audience why your position is correct. Lay out the major arguments that support your position. What about my introduction? I waste so much time on my first sentence or two. I am glad you brought that up. Often your first sentence can be the most important one. As I said, your teacher has to read dozens or even hundreds of papers, most of them bad. If you can hook them early, you have a better chance of winning the game. Do not though sacrifice the other elements of your introduction in the chase for a great lead. I often skip a few lines and go back to my first sentence after I finish my paper. A great lead with no substance is just fluff. A great lead followed by an introduction that includes all the elements we discussed will help you win the game.